we're continuing forward with our discussion on the statement of financial position and cash flows annual, annual report with a brief introduction to the statement of cash flows. Now the statement of cash flows is a very important and handy financial statement because it gives a detailed summary of every place that our cash is coming from and where it's going. So the sources and uses of our cash during a certain period of time. Now to create the statement of cash flows we actually need the other financial statements. We need the balance sheet, we need the income statement, and we actually need a statement of, of, of equity to be able to see where dividends were coming from and to be able to calculate retained earnings. Each presents some information about the cash flows of an enterprise during a period that we need to create the statement of cash flows. So just keep in mind what we're actually doing here with the statement of cash flows is we're taking information that we have and our income statement was created based on the accrual basis of accounting in most cases. And we're taking that information or that net income under the direct method of operating activities and we're calculating that back to the cash basis of accounting. So the purpose of the statement of cash flows is to provide relevant information about all the cash receipts and cash payments during a period. So it provides answers to three questions. Where did my cash come from? What was it used for? And what was the change in the cash balance? Well, we know that the change in the cash balance is found on the balance sheet because that's where cash is. However, we don't know what created that change. So that's really what the statement of cash flows is showing me. And it does that with three different activities. And those activities are the operating activities, the investing activities, and the financing activities. So there's three sections of the statement of cash flows like you see presented here. And those three sections will sum to the change in cash. So if we took the sum of those three sections, some of them may be negative, some of them may be positive, but we sum them all together. And that number added to our beginning cash balance should equal our ending cash balance on the balance sheet. Now let's look at these three sections in a little bit more detail. <clears throat> so let's start with the operating activity section. This is where the cash effects of transactions that enter into the determination of income take place. So in this section of the statement of cash flows, we're mostly interested in the day-to-day -day activities that created my net income. Where did they come from? So we're going to be analyzing all of our current assets, all of our current liabilities, our depreciation account, and we're going to look at any gains and losses that we may have had throughout the period. And when I say analyze, I'm basically talking about finding the change. So where did it start? Where did it end? The difference in those two numbers is my change. Now with the investing activity, same thing, we're looking for a change. But in the investing activity section, we're looking, we're going to analyze or look for a change in the long-term asset accounts. So whether we bought more equipment or whether we sold a building, that type of thing will be located in the investing activity section. In the financing activity section, we're going to analyze all of our long-term liabilities and our owner's equity accounts. So did we pay anything out to our owners? Um, did we borrow any long-term debt? And this is where we'll find out where our cash is going and where it came from. <laughs>